Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm going to be making a beautiful marble resin cake stand. And for this cake stand, I'm using Ombre Decor's medium viscosity resin, which is heat resistant up to 100 degrees Celsius. I'll leave a link for the resin in my description, so be sure to check them out. It's a 2 to 1 ratio by weight, so I'll be using my small kitchen scale to measure. And it has a working time of 20 to 25 minutes, so it's perfect for creating this marble effect and is also perfect for top coating. I poured around 450 milliliters of resin for this two-tiered cake stand. And while you're pouring cake stands, you want to make sure that you're not pouring them too thick. Otherwise, when you have to assemble it later, some of the parts may not fit. So just beware of that while you're pouring. I mix the part A and part B resin together for a few minutes until it's clear and there's no more visible streaks. And once it's mixed well, I start to separate it into smaller cups. I'm going to be using a lot of different pigments, so I'm separating it into quite a few cups. And I love to use paper cups because they're reusable and the resin doesn't peel off from the cup once it's hardened. The first pigment I'm using is Casting Crafts White Pigment. I add a few drops into one of the cups and mix it all together. As always, I'll have Amazon affiliate links in the description, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. And I added the same Casting Craft into a second cup as well. Next, I'm using this beautiful clear glass from Counterculture DIY and I pour that into one of my cups as well as some broken glass pieces. And I decided to add a drop of the Casting Craft white pigment into that cup as well, just so that the area where I add the glass isn't completely clear. And I go ahead and add that into the mold right away. I'm using a torch gun to pop air bubbles and I'm moving it very quickly. I wasn't very pleased with the placement so I just adjusted it a little bit with a wooden stick. The next pigment I'm going to be adding in is Deepon's 24 karat color shift pearl. followed by Deepon's Hot Cappuccino Pearl. Next, I'm using Just Resin's Bright Gold Pigment Paste. And I'm using one more gold, and that's Resin Pro's Oro Rico Metallic Powder. And I decided to add Deepon's Ocean Wave Pigment Paste into one of the cups where I previously added the Casting Craft, just to make sure that it won't be transparent. Once all of my pigments are mixed in well, I take all of the colored resin and I pour a small amount into my cup of white resin. And I do slight different combinations of colors into the two different cups of white pigmented resin and I mix it ever so slightly so that I don't blend in the colors too much. And I start pouring into the mold. I add more colors into the cup when necessary and continue to pour. And I take turns slowly and carefully pouring each cup into the mold And I'm using the glass that I've added in previously to follow the shape. I continue pouring and making slight adjustments. Thank you. 
And here I am the next day demolding. I use an X-Acto knife to get rid of any lifted edges. And I'm a bit impatient when it comes to wanting to see the final product, so I'm quickly adding a gold trim just to get a picture of what it will look like. I usually do this step at the very end after I've added my top coat, but in this case I just could not wait. I also added the gold marker on some of the glass that was sticking up and outlined the glass as well. Now I'm getting ready to do the top coat and I do this mainly to dome the piece and I also want to add a little bit more depth. So I'm adding liquid latex on the bottom side around the edges to protect them from when I'm doing the top coat out of the mold. I don't wait until the liquid latex has completely dried, instead I wait until it's dry enough not to budge, and then I prop them up onto cups. I mix my resin once more and again separate it into smaller cups. I'm going to be using countercultures glass once more so that it sticks up a little bit more. And I also added one drop of Casting Crafts white pigment just to add a little bit more depth and dimension. And lastly, I'm adding Resin Pro's Ororico Metallic Powder just to add a little bit more gold detail. I start with adding the glass. I pop any air bubbles. And I use a silicone makeup brush to help with any adjustments. Then I'm adding the gold pigmented resin around the glass. Then I pour on some clear resin and again I'm using the silicone makeup brush to help spread it to the edges. I also add the slightly white pigmented resin just to make it a little bit softer. And I'm using a wooden stick to help add some streaks of gold. Mm -hmm. 
and here I am the next day removing the liquid latex. And I use the same gold adding marker to add a gold trim. Before assembling your cake stand, I always do recommend to wait a couple of days to allow the resin to continue its hardening process. And here I am assembling the cake stand. It's quite a simple process and I turned the top part around several times to screw it in. This ended up being a perfect width of the cake stands to assemble. I've had previously where I've made them too thick and I've had to sand them down in order for them to assemble correctly. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.